doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great, I'm thanks. talking to you. I'm talking to them. Jesus. I'm answering for them because you can't hear their voices. They can type in the comments below what, um, how, how, how you're doing. So, we're off to see Suicide Squad. Bip, bip, bip. Suicide Squad. S suicide Squad. And, um, what are your thoughts? Get, get this. Get this. Oh, yeah. Batman coming to save the day, but not. Ba -ba -da -da. Technically, no. he is saving the day because he did capture all these guys. But then, so, they all I mean, got if, out because they need to help Batman. Because Batman they to, can't do what they're going to do. They have to do a job that's so sketchy. That the government, but it doesn't matter if they the, die. The government wants plausible deniability. So, it's, But didn't they do that with Batman? No, uh, no. They're just like, no, we don't like this guy. He's a vigilante. No, this is this is like a government job. Batman doesn't work for the government. Batman works solo. He works on his own. For himself. Unless he's in well, the, the Justice League. But sometimes he's not. Anyway, so what are your thoughts going in to uh, Suicide Squad? I don't know. What to really think because I think it will be very good. I think it'll be good. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Should be lots of action. And um... I think it'll be disappointing. Ooh. I don't think it'll be your standard superhero movie. Yeah. I know it's not being marketed such as a superhero movie but I don't think it's going to be on the same level as any of the Avenger movies or the Batman versus Super... Well, maybe Batman versus Superman. But I don't think it's on the same level. I think that they're trying to amp it up because you see a lot of ads for it, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting my hopes up too high for this film. I think it might be on par with the first Avengers. First Avengers but, was great, but the rest. I imagine this is probably better than the rest. This is probably. I imagine the Guardians of the Galaxy of the DC universe. I imagine that level of quality for this, except maybe even slightly better. Hmm. You're going in with super high hopes, and you don't usually do that. I know, but I mean, it's Batman. I mean, he's not really in it that much, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see the the anti heroes come about. I think there might be some kind of BS y bits to like get these super villains to like do good things, but right. the whole I mean, way. they got an explosive bomb in their neck, explosive uh, explosive bomb in their neck or something. Spoilers if you didn't see the trailer. Explosives. You spoiled it for me. In the neck. So. How many more times do you need to say it? Explosions! In the neck. Alright, so All we're right. going to go check it out and uh, let you know what we see. Um, well, we'll let you know what we think. We won't let you know what we see. Right. We'll let you know what you think. Though. If you care what we think at all. I mean, no one really does, but um, yeah. We do. Curtis Jackie should be here later, so we'll yeah. see how things go with the post-review. But for now, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat myself a wiener. You're just gonna Yay! eat it all. <laughs> so, no teeth. All right. See you on the flip side. You want me to gum it? <laughs> Welcome back. What? Oh, Suicide Squad. That was that was the movie that we just saw. That and was. And what'd you think? I mean, there's a squad, and some of them committed suicide. Only really one. But not all of them. I mean, not at all of them. Like one. Very well, early the, on, some of the, and the 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 um, I believe uh, spoilers. There was that one guy. Yeah, that one. And then I believe there was the other one. Some of the other ones who weren't part of the squad, but were along for the field trip. Like also, the, the army guys. Yeah, they didn't all make it. No, but that's not suicide. They were on the squad, and it was a suicide mission. It was mostly, yeah. It wasn't yeah, like they shot suicide. themselves in yeah, the head. Yeah, it's not true suicide, but, but it's, it was a suicide mission. So it's kind of... Well... Either you shoot yourself in your head or you're going on the mission you're not coming back. It's it's a suicide mission. It's suicide. Yeah. So. I, I do have to appreciate how we both called out roll the credits yeah. when, uh, yeah, when, when, says, when they dropped the name. Yeah, that was... That, that was brilliant. Uh, what did you think of the movie overall? Um, sorry, are you talking to me or the camera woman? Yeah, I'm talking to Melissa. Melissa speaks so much on these. I'm asking her for her opinion. Well, I don't know. You were looking at her at the time. <sighs> Anyways, what my thoughts were. Um, I... Cool. I think it, it, I think it took too long. But at the same time, it wasn't long enough. Because there was so much... The first, the first half of character development, the first half of the movie, was far better than the second half. Far better than the second half. I mean, it just... You didn't just... like the action-y bits. No. 
No, you know what? I I, I didn't. I didn't find their quality to be. You good. didn't like the I bit where like... Deadpool jumps up on the car and he's just like boo 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 boo. Deadshot, not Deadpool. De I don't know what I said. Deathstroke. Said, uh, whatever. Um, I I just like that part was probably the last bit in the film that I thoroughly enjoyed. Everything from there, it just I mean, I, I don't think that they had enough real character interaction. The bar scene was something uh, that was good. I don't know. I just didn't feel connected to the story. It's, it's really because I, I thought there was a lot of character. Like, there was in the first bit connection. But, like they connected. Probably the three main characters would be. Who would you say the three mains are? I would say Will uh, Will Smith's character and Harley Quinn and the um, soldier guy who's in love with the. I would argue girl. the flame on guy. They didn't. Yeah, yeah. They didn't really do that a was, whole heck of a lot with the croc or Mr. Boomerang or... Or the guy that died within like <laughs> 10 <laughs> steps of, of the mission. That to me, I feel like, is the best way to um, do it. Convince someone else that it's a sham and see what happens. Yeah. And, that's and, like, and then he just looks and he's like, oh, Shit! Well, that, that, that's a shame. It wasn't me. Did you, were you ever talking to him about this? Um... I don't know, I just, it met my expectations, it didn't exceed, it didn't drop below, um, it was better than I think the reviews were giving it credit for. I um, don't know much about the reviews. All I've heard is terrible, terrible, terrible things. it's not a Disney movie. Disney is... Does Disney own Marvel? Marvel? Yes. Captain Does America? It? Yeah, like all, all those, Marvel characters. I feel like this was on par with those. And um, it might have actually been better than Captain America. Some of the sequels Civil of, War. of yeah, some of the sequels of the um, Marvel universe is probably better. But well, I mean, the first ones are always great because they're originals. But I like this one. Um, it um, probably didn't meet my expectations. I have a few problems, but I'll let you. Finish. I did f agree. I do agree. It did feel a little long. They probably could have done it in like an hour and a half, an hour forty-five, um, and then maybe just cut out some of the characters. I and there's know. so much that doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? The Joker. What's wrong with the Joker? What doesn't make sense with the Joker? Well, number one, I didn't. Uh, I, he didn't have a major role in that film. Well, whatsoever. he's not part of the Suicide Squad. No, no, no. But I and I understand. He was that. like Batman, just doing cameos. Literally one or two. He um, did like. The problem is, is that I mean, how do you? And sure, you can say, oh well, he just did. He's the Joker. Ha ha. Um, you know, how does he survive that that crash? Yeah, and then well, just, I mean, yeah. a lot of people survived a lot of helicopter crashes. It's true. So <laughs> apparently, there in this universe, helicopter crashes don't mean anything really. It's true. And and what I didn't understand is is that when the Suicide Squad's helicopter goes down and it's rolling, they're all just like, just staying in their seats. Now I don't know. I didn't see anything they that they were belts, buckled obviously. in. Obviously, the real problem with that was who shot down the helicopter. Because yeah. the other guys, they they they, they weren't using guns. And it wasn't Mr. Magneto's whatever. Yeah. So that's a good. That's who, a good. Who shot point. down the helicopter? Friendly fire. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just. Uh, it, it didn't excite me. It was good. I enjoyed it. Would I go see it again? No. But for the money that I paid and the free drink I got, I'm happy. I'm happy that I came to see it. I enjoyed it, and I would see it again. Would you would you pay regular price or would it be more of a you know cheap night? I would doesn't matter. I doesn't matter. I'd pay full well, price. That's good. I don't that's know good. like the, like the Ultra AV D box, like whatever your standing movie ticket is like nine dollars. I found and maybe w w ours was we, or was ours the AVX. Ours was not. We were just close to the D box. Like there's the D box row and then there say, was like another row and then us because you you could say, feel the yeah. rumbles. That was pretty cool. I was, I was impressed with uh, with that actually. So maybe the D box is worth it in a movie like that. I don't know, but yeah. I do have to say, um, I thought Harley Quinn was awesome. Yes. Um, it would take a lot of courage to wear that outfit for that the amount whole, of time. Yeah, the whole film. And I feel like they kind of, kind of like made a a joke about it when she gets changed. Like everyone was just like staring stopped at her. and stared and yeah. 
But um, they didn't. They didn't. You know, have the camera. You know, you, as she's walking, you can see that her shorts are running up her her bottom a little little high. Not that I'm complaining. What, but you were looking at that. There's some movie going on. You pervert. Jesus. Anyways, um, it's not that the film focused on it as it does. You know, so quite often in, in like the Fast Marshall, and Furious. Well, that yes, absolutely. But that's also generating you know interest from the viewers that they want to gather. But even in the Marvel Universe with Black Widow, you know, I think they focused on Scarlett Johansson's body and her image a little bit more than what this did with Harley Quinn. So even I, like Star Trek, I think it's the first, second one, where that lady's getting changed and Kirk's there and she's like, turn around. And she's like, she's standing in her bra. I haven't Sexualized. seen it, sorry. Well, well. Um, anyways, so I... Uh, I picked up on that. Just um, the number twenty three was like happened a lot in this movie. Yeah, that chopper that went down. The chopper. The and one of the Joker's goons had it on his 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 vest. Maybe. Like maybe I, I kind of want to like secret. watch the movie and like find all the twenty threes because there was a lot of. I just noticed it. I don't know if it's like a thing. I'm sure if it's noticeable, there's and it very well may not be explained till the next movie. Who knows. Oh. I'm, or just it's what did a you Jim think Perry of universe? I don't know. Uh, Jared Leto's the Joker. That's a great. I mean, question. He, there wasn't a lot of him. But I mean, I think I, I found his voice to be somewhat similar to Heath Ledger's, mm. uh, in a way. Um, I'd say he's more like uh, the cartoony Batman, which was actually played by the guy who's Star Wars. What's his name? Was it Star Wars? This guy's Luke Luke Skywalker. That's a character, Come on. yeah. Come on, Mark Hamill. I'm pretty sure it's Mark Hamill. He does this, the Joker. I think he did that. I think that's kind of what they're going for. I liked Heath Ledger's Joker a bit more. Absolutely, um, I, I would agree. He, he had like, now we only had like a handful of scenes with him, um, but Heath Ledger Joker, he he nailed it. You're you're crazy, and you can't live without the Batman. That type of thing. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um, no. How many, how many exploding blue spheres of light would you not sphere cylinder can blue I, exploding cylinder can of light? Can I ask you one more question? All right, fine. before before yes, I one question. my rating, how predictable would you say that movie was? Uh, it was very predictable. So, do you find or do you believe that your enjoyment of the film was lessened because of the predictability? Mm. Because no. the one thing that I found that was uh, well, well, one's obvious in the sense that they're all going to build up and have the big battle with the light and, and win. But uh, the second thing that I found very obvious right from the get-go, and it's just a, another movie cliche, the guy who stands in the background, the fire guy, stands in the background, doesn't do anything, doesn't do anything, doesn't do anything, and then saves the day all, in, all, all at the end. Um, now, he, he seemingly uh, gave his life. I think they did it all that. at... Uh, ooh. Spoilers heavy. Um, <laughs> I think they all. It was like a really good teamwork thing. Um, they all. They definitely really, all had their their points of. Uh, what What's getting me lately with movies is like convenience. Like Star Trek, there was the spaceship on the planet. That's really hella convenient that there's an extra spaceship just sitting there for you to use, and you can get it working, and you can run it. Um, and this one movie, I feel like it didn't have like a in-your-face convenient. I mean, aside from like all the standard movie cliches where everyone survives. The sword but, just happens to be at her feet. Yeah. And, and like it wasn't. It wasn't like she. You know, all those things I feel like could actually happen in real life. So, how many giant blue cylinders of explosions out of ten would you give this movie? Um. Taking everything, whether, you know, my enjoyment factor of the film and my experience in the movie, I would give it a, a six. A six? I That's terrible. Six. This was an eight at the best. Worst. Yeah. <laughs> eight at no, the worst. No, I would, I would give it a six. Maybe even an 8.5. I was happy. Um, I was happy I went to see it, but that's, yeah, I don't know. It just... Oh, the girls kicked ass. I mean... Harley Quinn has no superpowers whatsoever. What does she do? She takes the baseball bat and she tries to hit the thing that's like next to Invincible. 
How how messed up? Like that's totally I feel like something that she would do because I think she's the, just I think the actors mental. and actresses did very well to get into character. I heard some stories about uh, Jared Leto, and I mean again he didn't have big big doing time. like crazy things like sending people dead pigs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. stuff like that. But he really <clears throat> and as he as I read an article, um, he watched like he binge watched violence, like massive sure. massive violence. Yeah. Um, to try and get into character because that's what, you know, from the Baxter he understands of the Joker, that's what he experienced uh, and went through and is, is comfortable in. And the one thing that kind of stood out is, is that he said, you know, it doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take somebody crazy to commit an act of violence. It's sometimes calculated, you know, there's so many varying degrees of it. Um, and I think that he, he kind of, you know, portrayed that. He portrayed the craziness when he's in the room and he's, he lays down and there's like weapons and everything. And then if you noticed in that circle, there's also baby Yeah, outfits. he's got OCD, I think. Oh, yeah. It takes all the time to organize all those. Man. And it's perfect circular motion and everything. But what gets me is, is that he had baby outfits in there. Along with knives and guns and bombs and whatever else was in that, I you know it, the camera doesn't focus so long, but that's what caught my eye. And it's like there's such an imbalance of you know craziness and yet normalcy. And as Harley Quinn's kind of deja vu, not Is that deja normal? vu, but dream to like lay out baby clothes like that amongst your weaponry and your arsenal. Uh, maybe I don't know where do you keep your baby clothes? I don't have your baby clothes. Arsenal. Because I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I even, like, it doesn't make sense for me to buy baby clothes. Not yet. Ever. I'm a grown man. Why would I ever need baby clothes? Well, sometimes your attitude needs <sighs> Well, um, I think that was about it. Aaron talked a lot. Sorry, did you want something? Did you oh, want to say what? something? No. By all means, I, had I mean, I just, I just forgot everything. And are you just talking about history as a joker? Wow. Well, you're you're going on about like Batman, who had maybe. I wonder how much Ben Affleck got paid for that. All right. Well, I think I think he probably made millions. So well, I think we're done. Yeah. Right. You got anything else to add? No. No. Other way. Other. other I want to see a movie with the lady with the katana, who I believe her name was Katana. That'd be convenient. That would be cool. A sword that takes your soul. Story of revenge. Uh, yeah, I feel sweet. like let's do I it. I feel like they gave her enough of a history to warrant a film. I think they should. It'd be sweet. She's badass. All right, it's late. I'm tired. Thanks Take very care. much for watching. Until next time. Uh, what's next? Have a good evening, good night, and bye. That's what's no, next. No, no, what movie? No, I say. Oh, I don't know what's next. All right. Probably nothing. All right. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, until next time. One? All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's have a good evening. Do not watch the videos. Until next time. What do you want me to say? Good night. Ugh. <laughs> oh.